Hi guys, this is Kate Pearson of Green Driver Training and here is your quick five step guide to getting a lesson set up in a positive way. I'm going to use the acronym or the mnemonic, GREAT. So G, this is to help you remember, G, GREET, R, RECAP, E, EXPLAIN, A, ASK AND AGREE, T, talk through the risks and responsibilities. So let's start with G, greet. Always start positively, as we know, good eye contact, settle the person in. No matter who it is that's being observed or if they're on the lesson for the first time, they need to relax. They need to feel confident in, in the fact that you've got their back. And it's worth just mentioning, just relax for a minute. We're not gonna go anywhere just yet. I just want to talk to you about the previous lesson which brings us on to our recap so really important that we use a recap from the reflective log which hopefully you will keep them to inform the lesson plan and goal so from the recap we can ask a few questions about uh, the previous lesson about what went well what the learner needs to improve if it is a learner it could be a full license holder they may have not had another lesson with you so what are their strengths and weaknesses there is something that they need to work on none of us are perfect um, so that's where we take the learning goal um, what went wrong by a series of Q&A we can find out if we haven't had a previous lesson before um, what what is it in their knowledge base that they're lacking um, and that is just down to asking them questions listening as well to their answers a lot of adis and pdis don't listen listen to what your learner or your full license holder or your fleet driver is saying to you that speaks volumes quite often the information that they're giving or they think is correct isn't and that's where we need to go with the lesson um, so when we go on to explain so we can then explain as in correct or maybe ask them what they thought they should have done last lesson or what they could have done better and um, the explanation then is where we need to get a visual out a lot of pdis and adis are not using visuals before we set off and realistically if we're setting a learning goal based on a subject um, why aren't we using a visual quite often i've seen a lesson unfold where the learner was talking about approaching a junction the pdi uh, or the adi thought they were talking about emerging from a junction and we're straight away we're off on the wrong foot please use a visual whether it's a video an ipad a book a drawing it doesn't matter get a visual out so we're on the same page literally so that's your explanation then we're going to ask and agree a learning goal remember the number one top competency on the, your marking sheet is did the trainer identify the pupils learning goals and needs if that's not identified good luck with the rest of your lesson we need to have something we're working on and then to agree a learning goal. So for example, shall we agree that by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to approach and leave roundabouts in the correct position and safely with less help from me, depending on their sort of where they are in the learning. Uh, they could be ready for test, in which case a good learning goal would be with no help from me. So by the end of the lesson, shall we agree that we're gonna get your positioning and your observations safe with no help from me, for example. So we're being specific about the goal, but not only that, we are targeting a learning need as well. Um, okay, so we've agreed that. We're gonna ask how they like instruction. No good driving off and leaving them in the deep end if they've only had a few lessons. Would they like options you're happy with so would you like full guided till you settle in and then I'll drop back uh, on my instruction or would you like some prompts just a couple of questions as we're on the move to help you remember um, don't give them the option that you're not happy with really important that we don't want to be over instructing or under instructing so another example would be we wouldn't ask would you like full guided when they're clearly capable or they're a full license holder um, and then we're on to T, talk through the risks and responsibilities.